It may be true, you're either a cat person or you're not. In the case of the Comparetto family of New Providence, they are most definitely cat people, especially their 19-year-old daughter, Laura. Laura has autism, but is able to function at a very high level. In fact, she wrote a beautiful letter to the NJVMA about her cat, Luke, describing why he deserves to be in the Animal Hall of Fame. In a nutshell, Laura outlined all the things that Luke does that make him an incredible pet and an integral part of her family. And most anyone who owns a cat will certainly recognize at least some of these traits. Yeah, he's a very family, very family cat. He loves people. Um, he'll just sprawl around when people are around him to let him know that, you know, I'm here. Please pay attention to me. Give me treats. <laughs> Give me some pets. Right, bud? Um, he loves his um, sister, Gizmo. Those two are very close. Um, they never fight. They always, they sleep with each other. They, um, he always lets her eat first. So he just like, you know, sits patiently while she, she eats first. Um, he lets her have a lot of the territory, um, except for that, the scratching post. He, that's the only thing he won't let her get on. <laughs> Cats also have the innate ability to sense and react to how their humans are feeling. And it's one of their most ingratiating traits. Well, I think he can just like tell, from, um, like when I, I had a concussion a couple months ago and um, he was, um, and he would just like, you know, stay by my side and just while I was, you know, not feeling well and um, same thing with, 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 with the flu, he would always like, you know, try and like, you know, come and sit on the bed with us and try and get in our face like, hey, come on, are you okay? And he'll just like try and like sniff our face and he'll just be like, you know, next to us and also, as compared to some other pets, cats are fairly low maintenance. Dr. Nancy Gruber of Murray Hill Veterinary Associates in New Providence nominated Luke for this award. They do want your love, they do want your companionship, but dogs are much more labor intensive. So I think for families that are living in apartments or have you know, are a little bit more financially limited or just don't have the room or a ton of time. You've got somebody who's there for you, but isn't 100% dependent on your presence 24 hours a day. Another thing we love about cats is their ability to drive us absolutely nuts and yet leave us laughing about it at the same time. He's very food motivated. Um, we don't give him wet, uh, wet canned food often, but when we do, he knows where it is in the cabinet. He knows what it looks like. He'll find it and he'll try and, you know, try and knock it down. A couple of times he's like, you know, knocked cans of soup down trying to get it. In many regards, a cat's life is quite simple. And they, and we, wouldn't have it any other way. In her letter, Laura said that Luke had never saved the family from fire or anything like that, but he's still a hero in their book. And so is deserving of a place in the NJVMA Animal Hall of Fame. And we have to agree.